What's happening, YouTube? Welcome to a very special, spooky Halloween first impression. I've got my Missouri Meerschaum hardwood maple. Maple apple. It doesn't make sense. Yet it does. Amber stem. And, I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail, this is going to be a very special first impressions on Strauss Tobacconist Sleepy Hollow. I'll tell you what I do know about this blend, which isn't much. Strauss Tobacconist makes this blend once a year in the month of October. You cannot get it online. The only way, the only two ways that you can go, that you can get it, is you have to go in, get it in person, or you actually have to call them on the phone and place the order. And you're probably like, Sonny, you've explained your disdain for aromatics several times. Yes, that's true. I normally do not like aromatics. And this one really is no exception. Not to say that I don't like it. I do like this quite a bit. In my opinion, this is a very well done aromatic. Very, very well done. I've been... Uh, I've been smoking this for about 10 minutes. And yeah, it's, it's very well done. Very high quality tobaccos. High quality... Black Cavendish, uh, honestly, I'm not, I don't know a hell of a lot about this tobacco other than what I've already told you. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what it's cased with. I don't, I don't know any of that, but what I can tell you is that I am enjoying it thoroughly. Does that mean I'm going to switch over to aromatics? No. Uh, I like tobacco. I don't like dessert. That said, uh, there are about three aromatics that I could smoke happily, um, albeit rarely, and that would be this one. Uh, Sweet Killarney by Peterson and uh, the Country Squire's Old Toby. Those are about the only three that I could do on a regular basis if I wanted to do that, but I don't. So on to the first impressions. Stuff's pretty moist. It's an aromatic. They tend to come that way. Uh, I let it dry under a fan for probably 15 minutes with the fan on high in my little drying tray and it was still pretty damp uh, despite that it took to the flame very well um, only had to do a couple of um, couple of char lights really not that hateful um, initial, the initial, um, flavor on it is, uh, well, for me, the Black Cavendish kind of hits me immediately. Uh, 
trying to coax some extra flavor out of it. Um, but very uh, autumn spicy, if that if that makes any sense. Um, uh, maybe a touch of like a cinnamon. Uh, it smells in the tin or in the bag. It kind of smells like vaguely of Jaeger. Um, has this like allspice kind of kind of scent and flavor. Uh. Maybe a little bit of nutmeg, current, some undertones of black licorice, very faint, very faint. My wife was just in here uh, a minute ago, and she said it smelled fantastic in the room. So, if this is if if your concern or one of your concerns usually is um, the room note smelling good, I mean it's an aromatic, but not all aromatics are created equal. Even the retro hail is nice. It does still kind of have that chemically taste that all aromatics have. But it's not nearly as bad as something like Captain Black or something like that. Um, I am using a Dr. Graybo filter in this, 6 millimeter filter, um, just to kind of kill some of the moisture before it has a chance to get too bad. But other than that, it's it's very... It's a very, very well done aromatic. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, this isn't... Sonny's not turning into an aromatic guy. That's never going to happen. but I will make exceptions on special occasions. Quite good. So with that, I want to wish all of you a very safe and happy Halloween. This is probably my favorite time of year, without question. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone has a safe and happy Halloween. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. If you do, don't get caught. Later.